I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an example on hypergeometric distribution. Wildlife officials tagged 60 deer in an area that had approximately 200 deer. If they later took a sample of 30 deer, how many would they expect to have been tagged? Now clearly, since every individual deer is different, once tagged, we are looking into the other deer to be tagged. So this is a clear dependent event. So we are talking about dependent events where we are defining our random variable x as the number of tagged deer, right? So we're saying the number of tagged deer caught. So that is the random variable. So if a deer which is caught has been tagged, it is a success, right? So so success here will be treated as tag deer, right? A deer with a tag and failure will be without tag, right? So without tag deer. So whenever you catch a deer, it could have been tagged already or not. So there are only two possibilities, right? So this is clearly a case of hypergeometric distribution. Now, in hypergeometric distribution, the formula for expectation is equals to n times a divided by the total population, uh, which we may write that as a plus b or total population, right? Where n is the total number of trials, so which in our case is 30, right? So let's read the question once and then we'll place the values and try to solve this. Okay. So we have wildlife officials tagged 60 deer in an area. So the deer with the tag is A. So A is tag deer population, which in our case is 60. That had approximately 200 deer. So total population, which is A plus B, total population is 200 deer. So without tag is 140, correct? So without tag is 140. If they later took a sample of 30 deer, how many would they expect to have been tagged? So, so we want to calculate the expected value, E of X, correct? And that too, from a sample of 30. So n in our case is 30. So that's the sample. So the formula, n is 30. So 30 times tag population is 60. Out of, we can write total population. A plus B is the total population, which is 200. Right. So that is the expected number of deer which will be tagged when you catch them, right? So let's solve this now. So we can simplify this. So two zeros, so 100 is gone. And two goes three times. So we are left with nine. So in this particular case, from a sample of 30, we can expect nine tagged years. from a sample of 30, correct? So that is how you could actually solve this kind of equation, right? If you somehow catch and you find the deer is much lesser than nine, that means something is wrong. Either you have approximated it wrong or something else has happened in between. So it's of concern. I hope this helps you to understand how important is this kind of distribution and how practically we can use it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.